Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make some collectible orbs, so let's just get straight into it. Now the reason I prefer doing orbs to coins is because if you've ever played uh, the speed simulator games on Roblox, they use orbs rather than coins. You, you know, you don't, it doesn't really make sense to pick up coins and get speed, so we'll make like speed orbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sphere in the workspace, and I'm going to click on the sphere, and under the properties, I'm going to turn off can collide so that we can walk through it and don't collide with it. I'm going to give it maybe a blue color. And I'm also going to make it slightly transparent, maybe point, point like three, point three transparency. And I'm going to rename this part to orb. Okay, now that we've got this orb, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in this orb. I'm going to add in a script. And this is going to be our collect script. So in this script, look, sorry, let me just close these other ones. Okay, so to get started, we're going to need a function which will be called whenever we touch the part. So script dot parent, which is the orb dot touched colon connect function hit. Now this hit might be like a leg, it could be an arm. So what we need to do is get the player. So okay, so what we need to do is make a, a local player variable, which will be uh, the the player so local player or PLR for short is equal to game dot players dot uh, come on sorry get player from character hit dot parent because say we are touching this with our right foot the hit hit would be the right leg or right foot dot parent is the character so we're getting the player from the character now we say if player dot leader stats dot points dot value is greater than or equal to zero then because of course i mean we don't want to well we could but they shouldn't have negative points anyway so if they have a positive or nil amount of points we're going to wait a very short amount of time just to allow the server to process it we're going to say script dot um disabled equals true just so we can't keep constantly giving ourselves loads of speed we'll say script dot parent dot transparency equals one so it's invisible then we'll say player dot leader stats dot points dot value plus equals and now we did an amount here now this amount is going to be a random value between x and y so it's saying plus equals math dot random and the amount of points we want to gain let's go from between two points and 15 points so we can gain up to 15 speed with one orb anywhere from 2 to 15 it's random next we're going to wait a random amount of time so wait math dot random and this will be the time till it respawns so for testing purposes i'll set that to 5 and 10 but um we will change this in a bit now we'll say script dot parent dot transparency equals 0 0.3 or whatever your original transparency is here just to set it back to normal and then script dot disabled equals false so it's enabled again okay now if we hit uh, test and play here just so i can play around with this orb i haven't anchored it so it might roll about or go through the floor <laughs> yep um let me anchor the orb really quick so i'm gonna grab this orb model and i'm gonna anchor it now let me play here now if we touch this orb it should give us a random amount of points. We'll see how many. It's a bit big, but three, two, one. And we see it gave us like five, four, five points there. So let's um, try this again, but this time let's test it with respawning. Just make sure the orb respawns. So we're walking about. Okay, we'll wait a random amount of time between five and ten seconds. The orb should respawn. Yep, and let's give it a go. And you'll see it keeps adding the points up and there we go now what i'm going to do is shrink this orb down a bit just because it is a bit big now remember if we go to avatar we can actually uh, bring in a rig and compare it to the size of the rig so i think that would do that looks fine to me so now if i hit play here this should be fine and that is basically it for our orb yep so we know it works just gonna make it a tiny bit bigger so we know the orb works, so I'm going to change the uh, respawn time back to normal. I uh, want well, normal, sorry, but I'm going to maybe make it between 15 and 30 seconds. Or maybe 10 and 30 seconds. And what I'm also going to do is get this orb, 
and I'm going to duplicate it as many times as I would like and just have a load of them in the world. If you want you can make different colour orbs which give you different amounts of points, maybe different sized orbs as well. It's completely up to you but this will do for me. Now once you've made all your orbs you can click the top orb, hold shift, click the bottom orb and right click and group as a folder. And now this will create a folder of all these orbs, which we can then rename, and I'll call this orb folder. So then now we've got a folder of all our orbs inside, and each of these orbs will work individually. They'll be independent of each other. So let's give it a go. 193, 194, boom, 202. You'll see we can collect these orbs, but they will still respawn. And you'll also see, once we've collected an orb, we can't go back through it to get more points. It's completely gone. And that's because we are disabling the script. Now you'll see they start to respawn after random amounts of time. And that's it. There we go. That works. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Where next video, I think we might do rebirths. Yeah, next episode we'll go over rebirths. That'll be quite a long one. So I can't promise it uh, in the near, near future. It might take a week or so. Because uh, I'm a bit busy at the minute with school, but I'll see you when I see you. So thanks for watching everyone, and goodbye.